please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? Captain's log, subdates 23067.4. Our route appears to be a little too clear, almost staged, almost as if someone really is setting us up for some kind of fall. Do you reckon someone on my ship blabbed a subfleet that I intend to exterminatus them? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking back at Illuminati because it turns out she's still a colossal moron. Yes. The first video did so well, Lord Diminishing Returns will be in full effect, that doesn't matter because the update is what really matters, and she's quite precious. In the I can't believe it's not butter way, just replace butter with dumber. So since I dropped my video on her about a week and a bit ago, she has continued to hemorrhage subscribers. 10,000 every two days? Yeah, three, whatever, there's a two day gap between most of it here. You see Social Blade? It's not looking so good right now. Her video views have also been hemorrhaging quite severely. This is a downfall I haven't seen since Death Noodles. Prior to Death Noodles, it was Creepshow Art. But if you remove Death Noodles, we have Creepshow Art 2.0 here, for almost the same reasons. The behavior is beyond catty, and is incredibly manipulative. Illuminati can be considered the queen of gaslighting at this point, and it is for the sake of her channel's future if she wants to have a future on YouTube in the first place, important that she stop doing what she is doing. If you'd like a refresher, you will find most within commentary have covered Illuminati in some way. Some have done dozens of videos on this because apparently less is more as a novel concept to them. On this channel, just one. There was something I left out of it, by the way, and I'm going to mention it now. Wonderstruck Guy has been very open and honest about their mental health. Thoughts of Unalive and Illuminati spoke about it without permission. Spoke intimately about it without permission. Now, I didn't mention it because if I had in the first video, it would have been demonetized. Shitty behavior like that, a level of entitlement to speak on other people's concerns and problems, is levels beyond unacceptable. But then when you consider, when you've built a career the way that Illuminati has, and then to find that behind the curtain it wasn't built the way we thought it was, but entirely built off lies, and essentially peer pressure. You realize that the uh, character of Illuminati is just that, because the real person is a massive plonker. As one update, since this all happened, Illuminati has barely been active on Twitter, with the last tweet being a Twitter statement on May the 26th, which we covered near the end of the first video. But Illuminati has been active on YouTube, almost acting as if nothing is happening unless these videos were made ahead of time, which I'm inclined to believe. Since people do help work on these videos, there is some sense to it. And I have no doubt in my mind, those that work on those videos are hardly going to be impressed when their pay packets get smaller, significantly smaller, unless they're paid a fixed rate of course. I guess it depends on the deal you have in place. It's okay, I barely pay myself anything because I barely make anything. Is that self-deprecating enough? So to the first update, a number of people who had worked with Blair in the past have been hit with cease and desists. This was something we spoke about in the first video. Hi, I'm Wonder on Twitter, Wonderstruck YouTube, link to the tweet down below and their channel as well, had set up a GoFundMe and said, Hey everyone, the GoFundMe has reached over 12,000. I just wanted to say that I am beyond grateful for your kindness and generosity throughout this. I feel truly undeserving. Please be well, I love you guys. At time of recording, it has received 696 donations and is now nearer to $18,000. I'm going to link it down below if you are at all interested in supporting legal fees for Wonder. A channel by the name of One Topic at a Time produced a video speaking about Sad Milk and Illuminati, because it turns out this creator had worked with Illuminati as well, and in a 26 minute video absolutely reamed Blair for this. And I'm going to link the video down below, but also play a couple clips now. It made me uncomfortable to hear words or intentions put in my mouth regarding the group call whose framing in the video does not comport with reality. The retelling of how our group conversation went and using it as a way to frame the situation as click not actioning soon enough or responding timely is simply a lie. 
I was spending time with Human 1 before she had to be ready for work when I got the DMs. The one-on-one -on -one call was more to check in on, do you think he would support this person's behavior? And I said no, but that we should really be talking to him directly about this. I didn't call a specific meeting. Click did express the importance of having one to clear the air about what we all found stressful and how to solve for it, something he and I had talked about, but we didn't call a meeting. He and I had actually scheduled time off for us to catch up on our workload and just spend time away from the project, and when we were told the meeting was to take place, it was during that time off that we had scheduled. And what was said to me was quoted more accurately in Wonder's video. I have taken this last week to think things through thoroughly and realize during the past time and especially during the Monday meeting that a lot of priorities and ideas for Sad Milk have shifted. My voice is still buttery smooth, but instead of butter, it's <laughs> slime. Oh, oh yeah. God. Illuminati is correct that she did not speak to me after the meeting, not since 2020. Click was right that we didn't want to weigh in on things at the time because speaking towards any of this was clearly seen as antagonistic or threatening and we just wanted to give everyone the space to move on. We were proud to be your friends and for so long we gave you everything we were able to. But when we explained our boundaries, it just wasn't good enough. That kind of resentment builds up. A YouTuber by the name of Swoop or Spanky Swoop Valentine on Twitter tweeted, my edit so far on the Illuminati doc is a beast. I will be sharing a bombshell exclusive interview with someone whose involvement and story has yet to be told. My doc will be posted tomorrow or Tuesday, brace yourselves. The video in question is called The End of Illuminati. She has always been this way, the lies everyone missed in the downfall. She interviewed Illuminati's ex-boyfriend. The ex-boyfriend's name is Azothan. What he alleges is apparently quite shocking. In the video, this is discussed at around 1 hour 13 minutes into a 2 hour 23 minute video. I'm going to play a very very short clip of that, but advise you watch the full video to get the full context. We have someone else in this story that we need to hear from whose story hasn't been heard in this recent scandal at all. Illuminati is aware of how toxic and morally reprehensible these actions are and has attempted to remove evidence from the internet by deleting her tweets and even editing down the private messages with other users in which she engages in these behaviors of bullying, threatening, to publicly ruin the images of people simply for disagreeing with her. All of these issues and behaviors stated here were just from the idea that someone might call her out and I fear what might come afterwards. So from the outside that clip sounds like some random commentary channel talking about the current Illuminati controversy about Blair's pattern of behavior, her alleged abuse, her alleged paranoia, and providing their thoughts on it, right? Except this video was posted over four years ago. This is Blair's ex-boyfriend. It speaks volumes about the nature of the fear factor involved, that many refused to speak out until the straw finally broke that camel's back, until Illuminati made one mistake too many. Within that video from Swoop, it was pointed out, and many other videos had as well, Illuminati had been called out by smaller creators over years point mentioned by one topic at a time was that Illuminati would punch down, go after them and bully them off the internet if she could. Because why address legit concern that they raise, they highlight, and many of them were correct by the way, about the gaslighting, the ad homs, the fallacies, the straw, all the buzzwords basically. The manipulative behaviour, the bullying, which by the way, it is exactly that. Using the weight of your own success to silence detractors. Quite cowardly, I will admit. If we creators get complaints from smaller creators who have less subscribers than us, does it mean the smaller channel is wrong? No. Should we, as bigger creators, you a lot bigger than I, and I bigger than some, should we be more responsible in how we respond? Yes, absolutely. We don't make it a point to send bullying and harassment their way. Criticism is exactly that. But then when it came from people closest to you, Illuminati, you didn't do that because you'd worked with them. You knew them intimately. They knew you intimately. They've seen you at your best and your worst. So you sent cease and desists. And there are more of them. On the 6th of June, 2023, Oz Media tweeted, so Illuminati has officially sent me a cease and desist. Best part is, she cites parts of videos which I had no part in and demands I make a public apology. And I haven't even made a video yet. The click replied with, after playing Minecraft, I thought you couldn't dig yourself past bedrock. I stand corrected. And from M, seems Triangle Karen is unfamiliar with the word accountability. Triangle Karen. Oh my god, M, you have earned to follow. I really like that comment. It's very funny. Hi, I'm Wonder had retweeted this with, and they just keep coming. Could just be me, but sending a cease and desist to the one person who has yet to release their video is highly suspicious. We won't be silenced. And it is suspicious. 
it gives off the impression of, I'm just going to blanket send these and not actually look at what anyone has said. Additionally, you had claimed to want to be more transparent, Illuminati, but you are preventing others from having the same luxury. I mentioned this right at the end of my very first video on you. It does not show any level of transparency, it shows a level of, I'm going to silence the feck out of you guys. The problem you now have is, you clearly don't understand the internet or know how to internet, because if you did, you'd know we all have the screenshots and many of us have taken the liberty of archiving everything, downloading everything. I will admit I've archived quite a few tweets over this, including those from I'm Wonder, Oz Media, Click, and so on. Because it is right to have these sources forever remembered via systems that allow us to prevent the internet from being deleted. The point is, you boomer Karen, you have no right to tell people to not talk about things. They're not defaming you. They are showing all the screenshots that you've tried to edit, by the way. Don't forget here, in Discord DMs, you were called out by one topic at a time for amending editing Discord DMs to try and paint yourself in a better light. That was highlighted in his video. Others highlighted the issue as well. This shows damage control and it shows a form of premeditation. How can anyone prove something if it no longer exists the way that it has been framed? Instead of this rather narrow-minded, tunnel vision-induced form of defense, how about instead you just do the one thing you should have done from the offset? Say sorry to all of those you have misled. The fact you still think you're better and above it screams desperation. It screams arrogance. It's pride. It is pathetic. You should be above it. You should be better than it. But apparently, you are no better than those have been annihilated by the court of public opinion before. That would include Creepshow Art, whose name has been mentioned so many times with you. You are one and the same at this point. You will continue to hemorrhage subs, you will continue to hemorrhage views. Followers on every platform, patrons if you have any left, you will hemorrhage them for as long as you refuse to accept you did wrong. And you are now being outed by one of those that knew you most intimately, in the form of your ex-boyfriend. This is not a good look for you, and realistically the only path forward is an apology, and to rebuild from there if you can. But the longer this goes on, which by the way it has gone on for far too long, the less likely it will be that you could even manage to rebuild. When a ship starts sinking, you don't make it a point to try and, let's say, blame it on other people, yeah? Oh, let me just throw out some legal papers while my boat is going down. No, you save it if you can. Your boat will sit next to the Titanic if you don't make a change soon. There is too much evidence out there now that shows you are in the wrong. The fact you can't see it speaks volumes about your personality, your character, your entire existence online. 